Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Bonk's Adventure for the Game Boy. In the last episode, we completed round two, and now we are on round three. And we have a bit of a dilemma here. Do I want to fly all the way across the bridge just by doing a little somersault jump, just by pressing the jump button, and then holding right and pressing the attack button over and over to somersault and glide my way across this bridge or do I would just want to dive into the water and just play this stage normally I'm gonna drop down and do it normally as much as I would like to skip this section because it'll give us some very useful points that we can use for getting some extra lives and surviving a little better in this game. We got some jellyfish. We got these guys from the original TurboGrafx-16 game with the harpoon guns. And of course we have the little smiley faces that have the spikes on them. You can't attack them, you can't run into them. Otherwise you will take damage. Just move away from them. And by touching this flower we have this bonus stage where you have to jump off and flip for extra points. As long as we don't land on our head at the very bottom. Anyway, let's go ahead and start this. And I don't know if I'm going to get a ton of points for doing this. Unlike the TurboGrafx-16 slash PC Engine version of this stage, there are no fruits to collect on the way down, no smiley faces to pick up. It's just you and the drop. And I actually managed to pull it off. 5,000 points. Awesome. There are some points that I did not expect to get. Also, I forgot to mention the swimming controls. You can swim in any direction with the control pad. You can jump to hit enemies from underneath. Though I wouldn't exactly recommend it because look what it did to me. You're better off just lining yourself up with these guys at an angle somewhat and then attacking from there and yeah that's basically it you can just jump attack and then use a control pad to swim in any direction you like also there's a fork in the road here and that led us to another one up which I definitely want and hold up make sure you are right at the surface of the water jump out and you'll be able to get out of the water now it's time for this section this is the last section before we fight a boss. This is going to be a very, very short round. However, I do want to do a little bit of exploration while I'm here because there are things that we can get. For instance, there may be something up here, though I doubt it. There's nothing there. So we're going to have to take the next opportunity that we can get out of the water to look around and that's more than likely when we're going to find stuff so this port of box adventure it feels like Sonic Chaos which I recently replayed at the time of this recording because enemies are sparse the rounds are short and it's not as fast or as challenging it seems and there's an there's a one up right there and there is another clear heart which I can use for maximum health I only have up to five hearts in this game unfortunately unlike the other games where I could have like seven or eight as I was saying this this game is short, it's a little slower paced, it's not as challenging, the enemies are sparsely placed. Kind of like Sonic Chaos for, for Game Gear, which I replayed earlier, not too long ago, to do the Tails run. And, yeah, this... This... It's, a, it's an okay game, but you'll still find yourself wanting to play the console games. Speaking of stuff that wasn't in the console games, a turtle sub. Avoid the missiles just swim over it. I don't think you can destroy it. Besides, your time is better off just spent swimming over that. 
And just by going in and out of the water, we can look for a whole bunch of smileys, and we even got some health, which I will definitely need. And now it's time for the boss, which is this shark mech. Want to be in the air a little bit. In case he goes low, just stay on the side there. Otherwise, you can hit him from underneath a couple times to deal some damage. Missed my shot to do a aerial headbutt, but that's alright. If he's that high off the ground, which you can usually get him to do by jumping in mid-air. Wow, three aerial headbutts. You can hit him from underneath. Otherwise, just stay at the side of the screen. Headbutt him again if you have to. Because if he if he's low to the ground, you can't be able to duck under him. The game does not let you duck. And you can't stand under him either. Now, if he's high, you can. And you can hit him from underneath. Either way, just jump over the spin to the other side of the screen. Headbutt the head. If the boss is high off the ground, you can go ahead and get some extra shots from underneath. Or some, some aerial headbutts, if you want. But other than that, get another easy boss, assuming you know what to do and you don't stand around. Anyway, we are now at round four. That will have to wait until the next video. So join me next time where I take on round four of Bonk's Adventure for Game Boy. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!